You know, protests as we understand it, political protests, marching through the streets with banners, you know, saying down with so-and-so, we want freedom and whatever it is, and marching and shouting and all that, no. The answer unequivocally is no. Protesting is for people who are weak in their faith. Protesting is the weaker thing. You know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, if any one of you see a munkar, you should do what? Change it with what? Change it with what? With your hands. This doesn't mean fighting. It doesn't mean burning. It doesn't mean looting. It doesn't mean throwing rocks. No, it means use your hands. Some industry, get involved, become socially active. Use your heart, spill some blood. If you can't do that because maybe it will become a greater fitna, he said, then do what? Huh? Wabili Sani. Speak. But speaking is not marching and shouting and all of that there. Because you can't hear nobody speaking when you're marching and shouting. It means choose a representative from yourself, somebody who is the best person from among yourselves, who can be the most effective to carry your message and give that person support and let him speak. But if you speak, you should realize that somebody might die, somebody might get harmed, somebody might get imprisoned. Is that right? So he says, if the speaking will be a greater fitna or you cannot do it because you're afraid, what did he say then? Change it inside your heart. But he said, that is what? Of the afal iman. This is the weakest form of faith. So brothers and sisters, when you're seeking to protest or to change something, don't do it the way the Kafirs tell you to do it. And let me just tell you something very clear. Most of the marches that Muslims engage themselves in is put together by socialists. Almost all the marches that are organized by Muslims in America and in Europe is put together by the socialists. The socialists, they rent the buses. The socialists, they get the license and the permits. The socialists, they, get, they put together the socialists who's working with the media and all of that. They put the platform together. They organize it. They call the Muslims. They get the Muslims out there shouting and they be saying, we want to help you, Palestine, whatever. But the socialists, those godless people, they have another agenda. They want to put you out there and get you shot, get you locked up but they ain't nowhere around. They just organized it. Muslims should stop being used by other people. Support your leaders. Support your scholars. Protect your family. Protect your dignity. Do not shed blood of others, but don't allow others to shed your blood. Speak for yourselves. Become active socially people will recognize that you are men and that you are women and that you are humans and that you're not animals. This is what Allah told us to do. But this marching and shouting, placards and meeting around the courthouse and all that there, you're getting set up. When you do that, the Secret Service, they got cameras everywhere. They're taking the name, they're taking shots of the faces, they're even taking a shot of your iris inside your eye. They're getting a shot inside your eye. They're getting your fingerprints, they're getting your voice, they're getting your voice into a pattern. So later on, they're gonna search you out. Don't do that, brothers. 
Organize yourselves behind your leaders. Your leaders will select the right people to speak for you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be with you. And the angels, they will be with you. And the righteous people will be with you. But we do not march and react like the Kafirs. No. So the answer is, no, we have our own way of protesting, following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wallahu alam.